Hello defaulters! Do you still have problems with the messaging system in default? Even after watching my video? Do you still don't know how to properly address your messages? Or do you send one message to multiple receivers manually, one by one? Or do you mix up types of data in your messages and can't find bugs? Your pain ends now, because here comes salvation. I present to you the... Pigeon? <laughs> Pigeon is a library to easily and safely manage posting messages in default. It offers few advantages over default's built-in system, both for beginners and developers maintaining already bigger projects. My latest video tried to explain default's messaging system, but it's so powerful it might not be tamed quickly in the very beginning of working with default. And not only beginners might want features I added to the module, I use in my own projects and share to you now as open source. Pigeon simplifies sending data to all listening subscribers. When you use pigeon.send, the script now can just send a message or multiple messages to all subscribers, like pigeons homing to the proper places. Or imagine broadcasting the message on TV and the receivers decide what they want to see and how to react to this. This gives control to the receivers and ensures they are aware they will get those messages and will handle them properly. It also allows you to easily implement an observer pattern on any data you wish to and all observers will be notified about the change. This also means you don't need to specify the address of the receiver when sending the message. The subscription mechanism is based on another open source module called Dispatcher made by Critique Gaming, creators of interrogation you will be deceived and now working on Good Morning AI. Some ideas are also based on the broadcast module by Bjorn Rietzl. So at this point I wanted to thank them for this and many other modules they shared with the community. Of course you can still specify the URL and send it only to the given object or component using pigeon.send2, which is a function fully compatible with msg.post, but can still do something more. What? Pigeon can ensure data correctness. Every message can actually contain data inside, like a letter or more modern mail that does not only have an address or our URL and a topic, our message ID, but also content. Default is flexible here and you can send anything. It doesn't even need to be a table. You can send value directly. In my experience, working on a pretty huge project allowed me to do whatever I imagined, but over time it became a burden. I was mixing data, overusing some message IDs. Every message was on the own. I started preparing proper interfaces and I needed to check if received data is correct. But instead of checking each data, I tried to ensure I always send correct and expected data. And that's what Pigeon does now for you automatically. Whenever you define the message with Pigeon, you create a table with keys and values being expected types. So for example, you want the message to have key my value and that value should be of type string. You can go further and add more keys. Pigeon will always verify if you are sending correct data. Not defined keys will not be verified, so we can still have optional keys on your own responsibility or no data at all. This way you will naturally create interfaces that will be verified by Pigeon and when you have them fixed you can remove definitions or even release the Pigeon and get back to bourbon message sending. Additionally, Pigeon prehashes all messages using an amazing small module by Sergey Lerk called Default Hashed. I included it into Pigeon so you can use it in your project or use it directly from Sergey's repository and give him some love for this great idea. This means you can use strings or hashes in every Pigeon function and strings will be automatically hashed. Another powerful feature of Pigeon is that when you send messages, it can also trigger special functions called hooks. Hooks can be defined separately for each subscription and are called immediately when sending a message to them. Hooks are called then within the context of the sender of the message. In my project, I use the lock module by Brian Kramer, or better known as Subsoap, creator of the whole Fairy Solitary game series. Log is great because beside logging levels, tags and whitelists for what's printed, it can also save your logs to file. 
So naturally I was using it in Pigeon before release as well, but I didn't want to force users to use it, so I excluded it and prepared a function pigeon that set dependency module log to which you can pass log Lua module or its modification or any other compatible module. If you don't want to use it though, Pigeon will just use print function by default to show all internal logs. You can also disable logging at all with pigeon that toggle logging false. Pigeon also comes with a documentation and a testing module. Test module is separate, so if you really want to run the test, require it in your script and use run function. So in short, I describe the whole very simple API of Pigeon and I hope it will come in handy when dealing with messages in your default projects. Let me know in the comments what you think about it and maybe if you need something more for messaging. Thank you very much and see you soon!